Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another uh, Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a uh, Star Wars review. And today we are looking at the A-Wing Fighter and Trade Federation AAT from 2000. So on the front of each booklet, which is with the two variants of the Star Wars logo, of course, picture of the set in action, the Lego logo, and the name. And as on the back of this one, as you see, broken pieces and a couple alternate builds, which in Just Two Goods review is says that it looks almost like some, some uh, uh, 90s space lines, like UFO and stuff. And the last steps. But, and also little movie screen caps of it, which is kind of interesting. And, and which kind of is a bit the same. Also some other alternate builds. And some little scenes made from it, kind of like the 99 Land Speeder set. And also some movie screen caps of it. So now for the mini things. So the only ones for the uh, Trade Federation AAT is get two generic battle droids. And two generic battle droids, but with the two regular arms. And well, same as it's always been, but great to get multiples of for army building. And then for the A Wing Fighter is the A Wing Pilot. And this torso print, though, which done quite similarly to most other A Wing sacks. And the helmet, though, which also quite unique and kind of, which I think was exclusive to this one. And no back torso print, nor double side face, it's, it's an older figure. You know, you got that comlink kind of thing. Which really does alright for the time. And last up is a Rebel Technician with the classic uh, cap piece that they used for many, many years. And the torso print of which done quite goodly. And holding the wrench and the binocular things. And, but no back torso print, also because it's an old figure. And also, if I get this off. Oh, which different than the one that comes in the B Wing and Control Center set, which I'll review next, next Throwback Thursday. Which you'll see. But although it does feel kind of close to Johnny Thunder and all. Huh? But next to it, so first to it. Is the AAT itself, of which is quite a big one, the form of it, compared to like the uh, 09 Clone Wars version. So, uh, what is quite neat and exclusive to this set are these big, large paneling pieces from like older space lines, and also on the original Millennium Falcon, but with some good neat prints to it. And then cuts to some jackets looking the lips. Yeah. Or jackets lips in their dark brown. And also those things from the 99 X Wing. Also used both for some other like part to it or some of some kind. And what's also exclusive to this is this other jacket slope with this print upon it. But although you can like take that off and place a battle droid in it. Of which, like the couple other versions, or 2015 version, that is. Although there's a bit of a blue brick in behind it, but it's well hidden. From it. If you look from the back, then there's quite a lot of some, like, blue pieces in it. Uh, so I guess they weren't very thoughtful or not very good with hiding things over time. 
Like, although this does not have any shooting features, which the 2015 version has to do. So as for the top version, that part of it that swivels well. And can open it up like so. And enough bow droid hidden in. Oops. So now I'm going to do a little comparison. The 2015 AAT, and no, not counting the Clone Wars version. All the way here, we might be getting another version of that this summer, of course. But as you see, it's quite a lot larger, a little bigger for the price, and it's kind of small, but that was the big problem with it. But although it does have some better use of pieces, like these rounded salute pieces. And of course, haft is a little more open or easy to open since it has a like technic joint to it rather than the ratcheted kind of joint. And they both do go up and down, although this pops off quite easily. Although. But also, of course, this does have the spring loaded lock twist to it, which came around way long later, of course. Well, we got a little bit more with this 2000 version. Like exclusive printed pieces and everything. Although, if, the, if this were redone now, if they ever do another version of this one, I expect it to have some shooting features in it and also similar to this one and then the other. And I think that is it with this AAT and now on to the A-Wing fighter uh, which kind of good shaping to it uh, although kind of blocky like most of these other versions or earlier ships had in same piece of that, but in red, which is good for mock making, but although some accents of regular blue that kind of stick out, which they could have been red, but whatever. And from the back of which, just like the 99X wing, with these like brown cylinder pieces sticking to it, and unlike the later versions of the A wings, is supposed to like like be crooked right in rather than straight up and then as for the front nose area which does have these uh, jagged slopes with some good prints to them with the rebellion symbol to if you like open this hatch then you can see the top part of a, an imperial star destroyer on it since of course it's aiming for that and then this back area that also opens up and has this thing that you can pull out with, but it can't store anything in it. And yes, enough space to fit your A-Wing pilot into it, of course. Unless you know, lean it back a bit. And also do that some of those, like, little blaster pieces from the older space lines and 99 x wing of course you see a lot of the jagged slopes which they used a lot in the 90s and landing gear of which with these little pieces that we have seen in a, on the 99 sith infiltrator and haven't seen them used in recent times but at least they do kind of all right work So as for a little comparison of which with this later 2017 A-Wing, and no, not the Resistance A-Wing from 2019, but that's for a different course. 
So as you see, that a lot of it is quite similar. Like the color schemes quite done the same, but of course it's more white compared to dark gray or light gray, but with some dark gray mixed in as well. But as you see, that the wings of which are quite crooked rather than straight up. But also doesn't have a little back thing to it like the 2017 version does. But the blasters to the sides it's, are done a little bit better on this newer version, it's kind of unlike with this version. Also that little crate thing, not present on this 2017 version. Also, so the landing gear folds in, of course, rather than just stand out. And also comes with little launchers, of course. But, you know, it's a 10 to 20 year difference. And of course, on one later version, they did have the uh, foot fire missiles, of course. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So, overall, I... Uh, so, overall, these, I think, are uh, pretty good set. Are kind of good sets for 2000. Like, of having something for your battle droid armies and also to complete the fleet of X Wings and Y Wings and all. Although they may have been kind of shallow, kind of poor renditions of the ships, which a lot of these earlier sets can be, but at least they did justice for what they had at the time. But also at least plenty of good mockable pieces for from these two sets. And so if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And if you still have access to these, then I'd say go ahead and get them, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.